Hi, Chris at VR Flight Sim here. If you saw my recent video about how to fix the cloud shadow flickering problem in X-Plane 11, and you want to make that something that works every time X-Plane starts up, you're going to need a plugin called Fly with Lua. This video is about how to install Fly with Lua, and then we're going to write a simple one-line script so that that fix is applied every time. So if we look at the desktop here, and I'm on the xplane.org forum, I'll put a link in the description. And if we search in the forum for Fly with Lua NG, and as long as you're logged in, you'll get this button download this file. So we're going to go ahead and download that and save it somewhere accessible. And now I'm going to click Open Folder. And here's the file I just downloaded. That's got the Fly with Lua plugin in it. If I double click that, there's the Fly with Lua plugin. I'm going to right click that folder and press copy because we want to put that in the Xplane 11 Resources Plugins folder. That's Xplane's main plugin folder. So we'll go to my Xplane 11 root folder and Resources and Plugins. And we're going to right click and press Paste to put the Fly with Lua plugin in here. And there it is installed. Fly with Lua is installed as a plugin in the main Xplane 11 Resources Plugins folder. Now, we need to get it to run that script every time we start Xplane. So if you go within the Fly with Lua folder, there's a subfolder called Scripts, and anything that's in here, it will run at startup. So that can be deleted. That's just a little um, introductory uh, Lua file that would run when you start Xplane. We can de delete that for now. And if you right click in here and select New, and then you want Text Document, you can call it anything you want. Let's call this uh, Cloud Shadow Fix. And then if you double click that, you want a single line in here for it to run that was the line from my last video. And I happen to have it already here ready to paste in. So I'm going to put this in the description as well. Set sim private controls clouds limit far 0.1. And as you might remember, I said you can experiment with that number and change it to whatever suits you. 0.1 suits me as a general aviator. And then we'll close this and save it. And now you need to rename this. This is very important. It will not run as a .txt file. It needs to be a .lua, .lua file. So we'll right click and rename and change that extension to .lua and press yes. Now if you can't see the extension it means that you haven't got view extensions on and that is in here view and then file name extensions needs to be ticked. If you haven't got that you won't be able to see the file name extension so make sure you've got that ticked file name extensions and then you can alter it to, to a .lua file and you're ready to go. Uh, what will happen now is next time you start up Xplane, it will run this script and it will set your cloud limits far to 0 0.1 without you touching it. So in summary, download Fly with Lua NG. I'll put that link in the plugin. Unzip it into the Xplane 11 resources and plugins folder or copy paste it as you saw me do. Then go into that folder and find the plugin Fly with Lua and its subfolder scripts. You need to then make a new text doc document and insert your script line. Save it and then rename it to a .lua file. You don't want it to be .txt, it has to be a .lua file. Then you can start Xplane and you'll find that that script has run at startup and your cloud shadows should be uh, fixed straight away. So I hope that's going to help someone. Uh, if there's any issues or questions, just drop them in the comments. Okay, thanks. Bye.